What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another video that we've done before, but we've done some updates to it since then. We've done a bunch of videos on this thing before. There's a whole entire playlist here on the channel that you can see how I did everything, where it came from, stuff like that. But before we get into that, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you haven't yet, be sure to consider getting subscribed to the channel. Be sure to check me out over on Instagram at the Josh Wiley channel. Be sure to check out watchjoshwiley.com. I've got a bunch of stuff over there that I offer with pricing, stuff like that. And there's also a discount code page with a bunch of different companies that help, help support the channel. And with links there, if you click it, it takes you directly to their website. If you use that link to buy anything, it does help support the channel. And there's also a discount code for each of those companies. If you use that, you will save a little bit of money. So all of that out of the way, now let's get on to the video. Today's video is on the SD9VE. Now, like I said, done a ton of videos on this. Uh, you guys really like all the videos I've done on this, so we're going to keep them coming. Uh, today's video is going over everything that we've done, and like I said, I think everything that I've done to this, there's been a specific video that I've done on each individual thing and how I did it or where I came from, where I came from, where it came from. Uh, and like I said, there's a whole SD9VE playlist if you have any questions. Uh, that I haven't answered in this video, you can check all of those videos out. Uh, and if I didn't answer your question in any of that, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. So let's go right over this. This filming this is 2023. I've had this pistol for quite a few years. Over the years, I've done a bunch of stuff, as you can see. So let's hit right into it. Uh, we do have a stick-on grip. I am a fan of stick-on grip. Uh, there. You can do stippling, and there's nothing wrong with stippling, and I've seen great, phenomenal-looking stippling jobs, uh, but they do get kind of expensive, and then you have to send it out to a company and wait for whenever it may come back. Uh, but with the stick-on grips, usually you can get a stick-on grip for any grip on anything and any pistol for, like, right at 20 bucks or less. It's ridiculous, and... You know, if it didn't go on like you wanted, if you didn't clean it like you were supposed to, and it starts popping off, stuff like that, you just take it off and just get a new one. And with stippling, if you do shoot a lot, eventually that's going to wear down, which sucks, and there's not really anything you can do about it. So stick-on grips, uh, I am a big fan of. I've gotten a ton of them from uh, two different companies. I've used Talon gun grips and... Shoot, what is that other company that I've used? I've got uh, my PlayStation controllers having on there. Like this, you can get stick-on grips for controllers. You can get stick-on grips from them for just about anything. Handle-it grips. I knew I'd remember it. Handle-it grips and Talon gun grips. I've used both of those companies. I liked everything I've gotten from both of those companies. I don't have a favorite Either way, I like both of them. You can get different textures, which is really cool, of the stick-on grip, uh, but that's what I've got on here. Uh, and I think this is one, yeah, this is one of the first ones that I put a stick-on grip on. This particular one is from Talon Grips, uh, but like the PlayStation controller, like I said, that came from Handle It Grips. I know, I don't know if Talon does, they might now. Uh, but Handle It Grips has like different textures of different grips that so you can pick which one you like best. But that is a stick-on grip. This particular one is from Talon Gun Grip. Something else that is from Talon Gun Grips is uh, slide stick-on grips. I think this is a at least more recent thing. I've done a video on that as well on this and some of the other pistols, Glock pistols. I think it was just this and Glock pistols I've done. But you can get slide stick-on grips to go on the uh, in between like the serrations here to be get a little bit better grip on the slide which is pretty neat so they also came from talon gun grips uh, and then also the number one upgrade i've always told anybody uh, to get if you get this pistol if you don't do anything but one thing is get a upgraded trigger kit 
You can get an upgraded trigger kit and you can get an upgraded spring kit. These particular ones are from Apex. They're a friend of the channel. I've done a bunch of videos with those guys. I've actually gotten two different triggers from Apex. They just somewhat recently came out with a new trigger. This is the flat face trigger that you can get in a couple of different colors. Before that, the only trigger pretty much you could get was from Apex and it was just a curved uh, black trigger, which still, if you got the trigger kit and spring kit from Apex, it was a whole lot better than the stop trigger. But you can get a upgraded spring kit and trigger kit from Apex. And now there's at least two different options with the trigger kit that you can get. Uh, so that is a plus because if you have one of these and you've had it for a while, you've seen that uh, there's not a whole lot of options to do stuff like this, like there is with Glock. I mean, there's numerous different things for Glocks, more popular pistols, but with this guy, there's not a whole lot of options. But like I said, if you do anything to this, if it's completely stopped, upgrade the trigger and the spring kit. Also on here, I've had quite a few different lights uh, on this guy. This one is the TLR7A from Streamlight. And I haven't had this one that long, and I know I did a video on it for those guys. If you're interested in checking out the light, you can uh, check out that video. That should also be in the SD9VE playlist, I believe. Uh, but another thing that was really cool with this light is most of the lights from Streamlight. I am a big fan of Streamlight. All, I think just about all the lights I have are from Streamlight now. Uh, but you only could get... I think just about any of their lights was exclusively in black. This one came in FDE and I put it on this guy and I'm really excited. So moving back up here on the slide, this red dot is uh, from ADE or AID. I don't know how they pronounce it. They're not a sponsor of the channel. I actually bought this with my own money. I did do a video on putting this guy up here. I first years ago put a red dot on this at my shop did a video on how I did it. I've got a machine shop, if you didn't know, and I do a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, but I got a Vortex Venom that I dropped like $200 or $250 on and mounted it on this. So then I had a, I got a Glock and wanted that to be my concealed carry. It's a Glock 19. And I did a bunch of stuff to that. And then I wanted to take the Vortex Venom because it was a pretty decent red dot and wanted to put it on my concealed carry. So then I had this, I made a piece that went in the slot that I cut out to have a rear uh, sight because when you cut it out for red dot on this particular one, you lose your uh, rear sight. So I made that, did a video on that as well if you're interested in checking that out. So then I wanted to put a red dot back on this. Uh, so I took the piece off and then I had to find a red dot that would fit the same blueprint as a Vortex Venom and I found one in the AD. I can't remember exactly which model this is, but I, I'm pretty sure all of their red dots fit the Vortex blueprint. Something else that I didn't really like, but it was okay, is for this particular red dot, the on-off switch is a rubber button, and it's on the front of it. So when I mounted this on here, because I cut this out for the Vortex Venom, when you put this on here, it fit right, but you couldn't touch the button on the front because of the cutout, which really sucked. So I actually had to make a spacer. I don't know if you can see that. Had to make a little spacer to go under this and then mount the red dot on top of that to get it to sit up a little bit higher so you could turn it on and off. And like I said, I've got a machine shop. I did the machining on this, did the cutout for the red dot, and then did this uh, open window cutout. Did a video on all of that. This slide was the regular uh, silver or gray slide that usually come on a stock SD9B. I had the Cerakoted black. Uh, I used to do a few videos for, well, quite a few videos for a titanium gun out in California. I haven't really uh, talked with them in a while, but they actually did the Cerakote job on this, which turned out really nice. Anything I've gotten from them was really, really good quality stuff. So they Cerakoted the slide black. And then on to the barrel, this is another thing from Apex Tactical. This is their extended threaded, bar extended threaded barrel for the SD9VE. You can get the SD40VE, 
I've done a video on that, but as of filming this, to my knowledge, that hasn't released yet, so I'm pretty sure if you've got the SD40 VE, you're still out of luck for an extended threaded barrel. But if you've got the SD9, you're in luck. Uh, I haven't looked in a little bit, but I know they were doing like batches of them. And when they first released, they sent me out one and I've done a few videos uh, with them about that and they do batches on them. And apparently as soon as they release them, they're gone. So you've got to like really stay up on their website to see when that happens because you probably won't be able to get one. It's probably gotten easier, less of a demand for it now. I'm not sure, but just keep that in mind. So I got the barrel from Apex Tactical, and if you're interested, this is half 28, like is usual on pistol barrels. And this is half 28 thread, like is typical for uh, nine millimeter uh, pistol barrels. But I actually took this out, it comes in black. So I sent this out as well. I think when I sent this slide out to get Cerakoted, they coated this with the titanium nitride, which gives it the uh, gold coating I've done a couple of different videos with them on titanium nitride coating. And like I said, all of that stuff turns out really, really good. I really like everything that uh, I've sent out to those guys. Something else, this has got the thread protector on it, which is how I've been running it recently. So got a question. I want you guys down in the comment section. We have one, uh, we've got three different options in this setup now, how it is. Do you like this better? No comp, just thread protector. Or this guy, which I did a video on this as well. It's a comp that I made for this that I also sent out to Titanium Gun and they uh, coated it with the titanium nitride. Do you like this look? And then I also did a video on this. This is the uh, MMP, uh, if you're interested in that. I did do a video on that. And then I made this comp for this that I've had on a couple of different pistols, but it landed on this guy. Uh, what do you think about that? To have that on there. I'm not gonna take this off because I can't remember what size screw I put on the bottom of that. So do you like it with no comp and just the uh, thread protector? the titanium nitride comp or a black comp. So you got black slide, black comp, but on a titanium nitride barrel. Let me know in the comments what y'all think is best. So I think I pretty much covered everything on this. I have done a few videos on different uh, mag extensions from a couple of different companies. I uh, can't remember all of them off the top of my head. One of them did come from Apex Tactical. Done videos on all of that, but that's pretty much everything on the pistol itself. So that is everything with this. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, be sure to consider getting subscribed to the channel. Check me out over on Instagram and be sure to check out the watchjoshwiley.com website. Use the links for all of those different companies. If you're interested in buying stuff, it does help support the channel and I would really, really appreciate it. And like I said, there's also discount codes for all of those companies to save you a little bit of money. That is all I have for today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.